Hey, it's Keith from Conversion IQ. I am uh, reviewing ebags.com on a mobile device. So we recently added ebags.com onto our uh, list of um, list of best in class uh, e-commerce sites for uh, conversion, and um, we just want to give a quick review of of the site and you know share why we love it so let's go um let's go pick a path uh, let's say we're looking for backpacks uh for a uh, school kid let's say a fourth grader so we're going to go into backpacks and laptop packs mm, school packs good all right so good navigation pretty clear okay here we are again, looking at school backpacks. I see that there's a 20% off summer vacation sale. Use code SUN. All right, so that's good to know. Um, I don't really like having to remember um, codes, especially when on my phone. I don't normally have anything to write down with, but I'll try to remember that. Um, Okay, let's see. So we've got 1,334 items. This is page one. How many page, uh, pages are we talking about here? Ooh, 29 pages, so a little bit overwhelming. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start, I want customer ratings. Let's take a look at that. At least we're organizing it by customer rating. So 35 ratings for this one. $179, a little more than I want to spend. So next my criteria is going to be, this is just a kid's backpack, so next criteria is really going to be price. I've got 69 here. Let me filter next by price. Okay, refinement. Okay, sale, sale. I already have kids. I have everything I need to know. School age features. Most popular brand, size, customer rating, price. All right. I was at the bottom. Um, I was getting worried that I wouldn't find it, but okay. Um, pretty good feature. It allows me to refine my search. It gives me a full facet navigation here. Um, and I'd really like to be able to find something as cheap as possible. So I'm going to check a cup. Oh, didn't allow me to check two. Let me go back in there. I want to look at two of them unless those are option buttons. You can't tell from this interface whether that was a checkbox or an option button. Um, given that it was a pop-up, I, I take it that it was an option button. Um, would have been nice to have a little bit more scent there though. So let's look at these. I'm looking at the highest rated backpacks under $30. Okay, seeing these are all more girls. I'm looking for more of a boys. All right, so let's go refine even more. Let's see, boys. Here we go. Hopefully my other, yep, I'm still looking at under 30 and boys under 30. All right, pretty good browsing experience. A little bit unclear about it. It would have been nice if I just saw a checkbox and it stayed open with, you know, gave me an option just to, just to look at it. Um, these aren't striking me as boys. Okay, this one's boys. Jan Sport, uh, $24. Don't really like that brand. Um, Dickies. All right, Dickies I trust as a brand. So, now one of the cool things is I'm not quite done shopping, but I'm going to add to my favorites. Simply click on it. I'm going to add my favorites. Didn't take me away. Didn't make me register. So I'm loving that. Um, let me scroll down. What else do we have? This looks like a good one. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to look at those three. So those are the three that I have now. And I... I'm gonna go and show them to the to to uh, 
to the young boy and see what he thinks and you know that sort of thing. So I'll probably come back to the site at that point, um, which means just opening up my phone, my browser, going to my tab, and then where it's where this page is waiting for me. So I'm going to come back in here and um, go take a look at the ones that I favorited. And I think from those I'm going to choose. Ooh, something's happening there. It threw in you may also like right in the middle of my two products. That's um, a little bit disruptive, but not in a good way. Um, okay, so I'm going to go with this. So there's no add to cart button on this page. Um, there's just this little icon. So I do want to see a little bit more information about this before I make a final decision. So for me, it's mainly where the padding is. It's in five colors. That's good to know. Um, gosh, I don't think I had any clue that that was available in other colors, did I? Let me go back to my favorites. Yeah, it doesn't tell me that they about what colors it's available in. That could have helped me make a decision about which backpack I was adding, knowing that there were several different colors. So let me go back into that. All right. Let's check out these different colors. Ooh, that page having to render. Having to wait for that page to render. It's just distracting. I knew it was coming, so it was holding me up and prolonging my, my experience. All right, there we go. This is pretty cool. Now this is where eBags excels. I can see it how it's gonna hang. I can see what it looks like inside, it's got different areas. I can see, you know, how how the um, the bottom cushion is gonna hit against the bottom of the back. So I think this is pretty good. Um, so it even lets me know how long this will arrive at my door. So I do wanna know that. Okay. All right, and it gives it to me right away. I'm looking at June 3rd, which is fine, which is fine. So, um, all right, so I'm gonna add this to my cart. I see right as I add to cart that I get free returns, which is awesome. Now, at this point, I don't know if I get free shipping. I don't see that anywhere, so I guess I don't get free shipping, but I do get free returns in case it's not to my satisfaction. So using free returns alone as a um, value proposition is still effective for me. So I want to continue to check out. So I'm in my cart. I could qualify for free ground shipping if I added $36. Okay, so there is a threshold, and I did not know what that threshold was on the mobile device before, um, before coming here which is, you know, which is something I would have liked to have known. It's available on the, it's available on the desktop site in terms of a push down ribbon, um, but it is not available on the mobile site. So now I know I might have actually gone for a more expensive item. Um, when I was shopping, I might have changed my 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 um, search criteria. If I'd known that, I would have looked at um, at bags over fifty dollars. So, um, okay, well, I'm here now. I'm not going to uh, eBags loses out because I, I didn't have that information while I was doing while I was doing my initial search. So now I'm stuck paying shipping. Not really feeling good about it now I knew I could have avoided it but I'm not going to go and um, redo my search because I'm a mobile user and I'm lazy so um, I'm just going to go ahead and, and go ahead so I'm not going to update it gives me all my information I'm good with that um, where's my continue here we go okay it offers me check out with PayPal which is awesome um, and then I see here I can sign in I don't have an account um, I'm not going to create an account I'm going to check out as guest like everyone else in the world 
Ooh, wait a minute. Did I just see a VeriSign certificate? VeriSign badges have been gone for like four years now. It's supposed to be the Norton Secure. Um, I'm not really trusting the site now. It makes me wonder about security if they've got an old VeriSign certificate on here. Um, and I'm not alone. That, that does happen in user testing. Um, let's add the shipping address. here seems like we're all in good shape here so let's continue pretty good there except for the verisign glaring at me oh please fill out this field did not notice that was missing it's pretty good though that's pretty nice i like how it how it uh, notified me of what i was missing on a mobile device pretty slick i'm liking this I'm liking this. Okay. Choose a shipping method. So, let's see, ground shipping. Okay. What's the price of these? I have no idea what the price is. Um, shipping method, value shipping. Expedited shipping, that's an additional. So I could value shipping, I could save $2. So I'll hit value shipping. Does that change my shipping amount down here? Shipping is $2.95. If I don't click, it's $4.95. All right. It should really just give us the price up here so I don't have to scroll down because I'm on a mobile phone. I can't see everything. So if you're going to tell me I'm saving $2, well, what does that mean? Is that $2.95 versus $4.95? Um, you know. I know it says up here four ninety five, but I'm not reading up here and down here at the same time. I didn't even see that up top because it's just black, so I wasn't going to pay attention to that. I, I see I pay attention to option buttons and 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 boxes and things like that. So a um, little bit of optimization there, a little bit easier. We're going to continue here, and I get to my method of payment. So. Um, I see they're using Chase Payment Tech, which makes me feel better after the whole um, seeing VeriSign, which is still hanging out at the bottom. It's free to upgrade. Just contact, um, just contact uh, Symantec and just get a new badge. Um, really, it's that easy. And it will increase your conversion rate, guaranteed. We've tested that uh, enough to know. So, um, okay, so I'm going to leave this here. And thanks for listening to me, my quibbles about a very good eBag site that still has opportunities uh, to remove some obstacles, um, but overall a good experience on a mobile device.